the real estate in Forest Hill was built largely between 1900 up until 1930 and was stopped like much of everything was stopped in the country with the, the cloud of uh, the world dep uh, depression. Um, you have big houses, you have small houses. We'll travel up Ballantyne Parkway and you can see the, the architecture of this neighborhood. Um, certainly you can realize that it once was uh, the home of the the famous and the, the movers and shakers of Newark. There is a little bit of everything in Forest Hill with its eclectic architecture. We even have the Sydenham House, which is the oldest private residence in Newark. Sydenham House was built as a salt box in 1712 for John and Susanna Sydenham. Now John and Susanna Sydenham eloped and didn't make their parents very happy. Uh, but I guess the parents came around to their way of thinking because they built them this little salt box uh, home in the northernmost section of the city when there really wasn't much else around. Uh, the house was enlarged around the time before the the Civil War, and it has been recently underwent a extraordinary restoration. Construction was started on Branchbrook Park in 1900, about the same time as uh, the Sacred Heart Cathedral. They sort of grew up together. And the architect for Branchbrook Park was none other than the famed Frederick Law Olmsted. As we travel through the park, you can see Mr. Olmsted's ideas and just how wonderfully well they work. Waterways linking the northern section of the park with the southern section of the park. And the waterways in Branchbrook Park are stocked with fish, so you'll always see the perennial fishermen just relaxing on the shore of the lake looking for lunch or, or supper. The Newark Diocese was founded in 1861, and the first bishop was James Roosevelt Bailey. Bishop Bailey dreamed that Newark would have a cathedral that was a symphony to Almighty God. And while he did not live to see his dream come true, it did come true. This building is a symphony. The land, the highest spot in Newark, was bought in 1861, and construction was started by 1900. Construction lasted through the firing of the original architect, Jeremiah O'Rourke, who was replaced by Isaac Dittmar, and World War I. But the World Depression brought building to a halt, and the building was boarded up by 1930 and stayed that way until 1950. In 1950, construction restarted, and the cathedral was consecrated in 1954. The ornamental marble is from Italy, the stained glass windows are from Germany, and while it is the seat of the Newark Diocese, it is enjoyed by hundreds through masses, weddings, ordinations, graduations, and concerts on its world-renowned organ. In 1995, it received its greatest honor when Pope John Paul designated it as a basilica, an honor that can only be bestowed by His Holiness, the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart.